Well, here's a privet hedge I've been working on for a friend of mine. And it was full of bittersweet, bullbriars, grapevine, and let's see what else was in there. Uh, maple trees, choke cherry, a whole buffet. And I've been on it. This is my fourth day. I work solo. Um, but I'll tell you what. If it wasn't for my high ace, I'd be working off a ladder. This is something you can't do with an American truck either in the fancy pretty beds that we got in America. Got the side folded down and strapped it and off the horn bar and off the back rack. Got the back rack lashed down, holding it down. And I got a work staging and I just drive along, chop off. What I got to chop off as I go and see how high it was and flop it into the back of the truck right over my head and then I got a trailer here and a trailer up there and I take and roll it fold up the side pull up to the trailer fold the side back down and roll the whole thing right off into the trailer makes it so much nicer like I say, for the country that we are, and as smart as we're supposed to be, why aren't we getting to the point where we have pickup trucks that are for work and not for taking the golf clubs to the golf course? Or to have something huge so you can put your dog in the back seat because you can't let him ride in the bed anymore in this state because that might be fun for the dog and, and Massachusetts is the unfun state for sure. But there you have it. We need to wake up America, quit being fancy, and stop being functional. And that way, we can get things done for a better price. They won't cost as much. We need to wake up. There's no reason why if you break a headlight now, you have to call the insurance company. None of that makes any sense to me. But I guess common sense don't grow in everyone's garden. So everybody, there's a little something to think about. Maybe we need to take and start being a more functional country instead of a pretty country. God bless America. Amen.